So this is our DBMS project on United Helpers Organization. I will present the problem statement, then Sagar Malik will show you the ER diagram, then Pradeep Yadav will explain the ER diagram, and then Navdeep will show you the schema of the database. And uh, all this we did under the guidance of Dr. Sikha Gupta, to whom this channel belongs. You can go and watch other videos also if you like. So let's continue. This is on United Helpers, which is a non profit organization which provides sight to people after natural disasters, uh, the people who got affected from natural calamities like earthquake and tsunamis and hurricanes. So these uh, upcoming points are brief description of its operations. So let's see them. Eh? And so the first point is. Uh, there are volunteers to carry out the task of organization and their name, address, telephone number are tracked. So here we have it. Uh, uh, let me show these volunteer ID, volunteer name, address and their telephone number. All this is tracked. Eh? And uh, then we have a task and uh, the task that volunteer do. So for those tasks also we have a task code, task description, its type and status which is to be tracked. So here we made all of that. And uh, this is, is assigned, this is a junction table that we made to connect volunteer with task. Uh, so let's see other description. So for all tasks of type packing, there are packing lists, and the packing list uh, must contain uh, an ID number, a uh, name, a uh, list description which describes the item that the package holds. And so here are those. And uh, the packing list uh, results in the creation of packages uh, which are to store all these things like ID number, date of creation, its total weight, and the number of items it holds, and their name, task code. Now this I have written myself to adjust something and yeah all this is what we must consider yeah so let's go to the next slide so the pack packing list describes the ideal content of each package and each item that the organization provides as an item ID number item description value and item quantity that all are tracked down here and uh, Along with tracking the actual items that are placed in each package, the quantity of each item placed in package must be tracked as well. This I had tracked in the last slide I saw. On. And so now Sagar Malik will show you the ER diagrams and explain them to you. It will be fun. So what is an ER model? An entity relationship model describes interrelated things of interest in a specific domain of knowledge. An ER model have an ER diagram which is represented by different symbols. So different symbols are a rectangle represent an entity type, a double rectangle represent a weak entity, a oval represent an attribute, a oval with a line represent a key attribute, a double oval represent a multi-valued attributes, an oval with connected with different oval represent a composite attribute. A dotted over represent a derived attributes so each entity is have a relationship with other entity and a relationship is denoted by a diamond a double diamond represent an identity relationship which an identity relationship is a relationship between two weak entity types a relationship can be of many types like one to one many to one many to many and each relationship have different cardinality number like one to one have one ratio one one to many have one ratio n so in our case study of United Helpers, we have six entities like number one volunteer, number two task, number three packing list, number four packages, number five items. And each entity have different attributes. Like you can see in the volunteer entity, we have volunteer ID, volunteer name, volunteer address, volunteer 10 number, task assigned. And so different entities have different attributes. Data so. So what is a primary key? A primary key is a unique attributes that are used to identify uh, two tuples in a table. A, a primary key can't have a null entry. So in the entity of volunteer, we have volunteer ID as primary key. In task, we have task code. In packing list, we have packing list ID. In packages, we have ID number. In items, we have item ID attributes as a primary key. So you can see the ER diagram. 
in the ER diagram, volunteer entity and task entity have many to many relationship of assigned. Assigned have a descriptive attributes of start time and the end time. Like one volunteer can have many tasks and one task can have many volunteer. In the volunteer at entity, we have different attributes. Like volunteer ten number, it is a key attributes. Task assigned, it is a multi valued attributes. And the volunteer address and volunteer name, it is a simple attributes. Like in the task entity, we have task code as a key attributes, task description, task type, and task status are the simple attributes. Like you can see in the task entity and packing packages entity, we also have a relationship. Similarly, in the packages entity and the items entity, we also have a relationship of contain. It is a total relationship. Like in the item, we have item ID as a key attribute, item description, item value, and the item quantity as a simple attributes. So this is the full ER diagram of the of our case study United helpers. Enhanced Entity Relationship Diagram EER Diagram are the advanced database diagram very similar to the regular ER diagram. We have had ER diagram but as the complexity of the data is increasing so we need a more enhanced or advanced version of ER which will help us to represent the data in more efficient way. That's why we use EER. In EER we display the subclass and superclass and two ways of doing it are specialization and generalization in a specialization we divide the classes into subclass and each subclass inherit the attributes of superclass as well as can have its own attribute generalization is just opposite to the specialization in generalization we categorize various subclasses with common attributes into one superclass which have attributes that are common to all the subclasses in our case study we have generalized two entities first task into two subclasses packing task and non packing task and then items into two subclasses food items and non food items now in our eer er eer diagram the only difference between er diagram and here is that we have generalized the task into subclasses that are packing tasks and non packing tasks with attributes similar to their superclass that is both packing tasks and non packing tasks have task code task type and task status which are attributes of its superclass that is task here generalization is represented through arrow pointing towards the subclass now in items we have generalized the items into two subclasses food items and non food items here both food items and non food items have all the attributes of item subclass that is item id item value and item quantity while while food items have also its attributes that is expiry date hello everyone i am navdeep so now we will see relational database design ER and EER to relational mapping. Now the steps involved in these are in this ER to relational mapping steps. First, we would for each regular entity type in the relation in the ER diagram, we would create a relation that would include all the attributes of the E. Attributes are the nothing but simple qualities, qualities of that entity. And of those one attributes, we would select one as the key attributes. Key attributes means that it would uniquely define that identity. So now next we can see in the ER diagram here volunteer, task, packing list, packages, items are the entity, strong entity. And volunteer ID, task code, ID num, item ID, etc. are the key attributes. So now this is the table that we key. So there and others volunteer name, volunteer address, volunteer tell number are other other attributes of the volunteer table. Next task description, task type, task status are other attributes. Similarly, we can go on this list. So now for the weak entity types for each weak entity types we would create a relation r that would includes all the simple attributes of the weak entity and we would include a foreign key attribute of the r there 
primary key attribute that that would correspond to the owner entity types there are for the for the mapping there are one to n types there are two possible approaches first one is the foreign key approach and other is the relationship relation approach so now we would we use foreign key approach so this is the final schema that we have built from the er and eer diagram schema is nothing but the overall design of the database here you can see data sorry volunteer task packing list packages item contains etc the tables where volunteer id volunteer name volunteer address volunteer tell number are the attributes of these tables and volunteer id we have made this primary key and this volunteer id is connected through an arrow to this volunteer id in is assigned table in is assigned table